Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm here at Stoke Park in Bristol in one of the woods called Hermitage Woods and I want to talk about a one particular tree that I think is terrific. It's having a real bad time at the moment and if any of you guys come here to Stoke Park it's a very iconic tree sat on the corner of Hermitage Woods and um, I'll turn the camera around guys and I'll show you. Here we go. And if you guys recognize this beautiful majestic tree, absolutely massive. This is the horse chestnut tree. And what makes it so terrific is what is actually the struggles that it's facing at the moment. Can you see that there? Like this sludge oozing down the tree. This is a bacterial canker that um, that's affecting the tree and what's happening is the bacterial infection has got into the tree and all the new wood that this tree is producing is sliming out of this tree like a fermented sludge can you see it if i stand back a bit can you see it there look guys and one of the effects of it is cracking of the bark you can see all the all these cracks in the bark that's caused by the fungal pathogen but that's not the only challenge this tree's got I'll go out into the fields and I'll show you. We'll get a leaf. There we go. I'll turn the camera back round. So if you notice all the chestnut trees at this time of year, can you see those brown spots on them? You see that there? That's unbelievable. Let's go out here and get some more. Let me take a leaf off. Here we go. So... Look at this leaf here, look guys, can you see all the blotching? So this has got two problems here. That there, on that corner there, that's a fungal pathogen called chestnut leaf blotch. And that's a fungus that's chewing away at the leaves. But these brown spots, now if I lift them up, you'll see them in the light. You see those brown spots? And that's the work of the chestnut leaf miner moth, the maggot. And what the maggot's doing is eating away at the chlorophyll inside the leaves. So the tree, if I walk out here and show you, and turn the camera around, look at that tree, it's knackered. All the leaves are brown because of the fungal pathogen and the chestnut leaf miner moth that's eating all the green chlorophyll in the leaves. And trees are producers. They produce their own food through photosynthesis. And the problem and the challenge this tree's got is the fact that because it hasn't got any chlorophyll or very little chlorophyll, it can't produce its own food. So what the trees do, they're very good at managing their energy or trees. They will go into early shutdown. And this tree doesn't have any conkers on it because the tree won't spend energy producing fruit nuts if it's struggling to survive. So it manages the energy. And if I take you back into the woods, it's like walking through the woods in November at the moment. And we're, we're in July now. Middle of July. Look at that. You'd be forgiven to think that you were in the woods in November. All the leaves, look. Look at them, all gone. So this tree is really having a difficult time at the moment. It's being hit by three factors. Fungal pathogens and the chestnut leaf miner moth. If I ever felt sorry, if I ever felt sorry for a tree, it would be this one. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd film you a little video on some of the happenings in the forest in our chestnut trees. Um, for some reason, they're having a very difficult time at the moment. Take care.